Good evening. Happy Easter if I didn't see you yesterday, or indeed happy Easter again if I did see you yesterday. So it's uh, Easter Monday, a bank holiday that feels very different from most other bank holidays. And um, I was thinking about, uh, about Easter Monday this afternoon. So uh, I Googled it to see what came up. And most of the, the things that I found actually said it's a bank holiday and then looked back to the significance of yesterday for, for those who had count themselves Christian. Um, there were one or two kind of traditions, practices from around the world that seem to go specifically with Easter Monday. So apparently some parts of the Orthodox Church call it Bright Monday and it's the start of Bright Week, though I couldn't find any particular information as to what might happen during Bright Week. Um, in Poland, apparently, there is a tradition that it's called Wet Monday and people are meant to throw water at one another. So it's only six o'clock. There is still time. Um, please do it outside if you're going to do it. But um, although it's Easter Monday, it is still Easter. Easter isn't just a day. Easter is a season. And the season of Easter keeps going from now until Pentecost, which I can tell you this year falls on the last day of May. So um, because it's the Easter season, I think that we can stick with singing Easter songs for quite some while to come, which is good because there are some great hymns and songs that are to, to do with Easter. And um, it would be such a pity if we were only able to sing them on one Sunday. So. I've decided I'm going to play you a bit more music tonight. And it is an Easter song, though in the church in, in Upton, we tend to sing this one quite a lot. In fact, I have to say there's one particular person I associate with this song. If you're listening, thank you, Fran. You were the person who introduced me to this song um, a few years ago when we used to play in the band together in Wareham. So this, this is I Stand Amazed in the Presence of Jesus the Nazarene. I'm going to play three verses of it because that's what we normally sing in my church. Apologies to anybody who actually knows all five verses off by heart. You'll have to play it again later so that you get to sing all five verses. So um, this is I Stand Amazed in the Presence of Jesus the Nazarene. Just in case you don't know that one and you've never heard the words, I'm just going to read you some of the words. I stand amazed in the presence of Jesus the Nazarene and wonder how he could love me, a sinner condemned unclean. 
How marvellous, how wonderful is, and my song shall ever be, how marvellous, how wonderful is my Saviour's love for me. And then the next verse that we usually sit, sing says, He took my sins and my sorrows, he made them his very own. He bore the burden of Calvary and suffered and died alone. It's amazing, isn't it, that he would do that for us. And then the last verse says, when with the ransomed in glory, his face at last I shall see, it will be my joy through the ages to sing of his love for me, singing how marvellous, how wonderful, and my song shall ever be, how marvellous, how wonderful is my Saviour's love for me. That is the message of Easter in one song. So let's finish off just by turning that song into a prayer. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for what Jesus did for us at Easter. We thank you that because of what he did, we can have a deep relationship with you. And we pray that you will make us people who ever sing of how wonderful your love is for us. Amen. Thank you for joining me. See you tomorrow. Bye.